Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is very exciting. We are getting ready for Valentine's Day. It's just around the corner and I thought that we would do a video about Valentine's Day fragrances. So today's video is about perfumes that I think are perfect to wear for a romantic date night, a romantic dinner, but they would also make amazing gifts. So if you're looking for something to wear for a nice Valentine's Day dinner or you just are curious to see what fragrances these are, then stay tuned. Today's video is also in collaboration with Yana from The Scented. If you guys have not checked out her channel, you definitely should. She has some amazing videos. She has showed me so many fragrances that I didn't know existed before her and I just really love her channel so I will have a link down below to her channel and her video as well so definitely head on over there and see what her choices for a Valentine's Day fragrance would be and if this is your first time here thank you so much for clicking on my thumbnail my name is Alithia and on this channel we talk mostly about fragrances so if that is your thing definitely make sure to stay tuned and without further ado let's get started Okay, so I'm going to start off with one that is maybe a little bit predictable and maybe a little bit over talked about and that is Delina Exclusive from Parfums de Marly. So even though I know this one is probably a little overdone, I had to include it because this is probably the most romantic feminine scent I can think of in my entire collection. If I had to choose the single most romantic, most beautiful feminine scent that is perfect for a Valentine's Day date, um, perfect for a gift idea for any woman, it would be one of the Delinas from Parfums de Marly. So if you guys watch my channel, you know that I also like the original Delina, but I do prefer this one. I actually don't own the original, and sometimes I think about bringing it back. Um, the original one is a lot more tart. It's fruitier, it's sweeter, it's brighter, it's got quite a strong incense -y vibe to it, where this one I feel is a lot more woody and a lot more vanillic. And so this one is just a little bit more creamy, a little bit better for the evening, I think. And um, yeah, it happens to be also one of my absolute favorite fragrances of all time. Like this is in my top 10 for the rest of my life. I absolutely love it. So if I was going out on a date, this is one I would definitely think to wear, especially for Valentine's Day. I just think you can't come up with a more romantic fragrance. And the bottle is incredible. This just, everything about this screams romance and so I thought it would be perfect for Valentine's Day. The next one is one that I don't talk about very often at all and I really should because it's one of my favorite fragrances in my collection and this is Ylang and Gold from M. Mikalef. So out of all the Mikalef fragrances I've tried, this still remains my favorite one and I think it's actually the only Mikalef fragrance I have in my entire collection right now. Um, so this is a beautiful Ylang vanilla fragrance. It does have a little bit of a tropical vibe to it. What I get from this is mostly just a beautiful, sparkling, fancy smelling vanilla fragrance. I have a hard time wearing this one. That's why it looks brand new because I've literally only worn this a couple of times because to me it just screams fancy occasion. If I was going out for a really nice dinner, dressing up, maybe a formal occasion, black tie event, or just going out for dinner with my loved one for something like Valentine's Day. This would be the perfect one to grab because it's sweet, it's sexy, it's sensual, it's feminine, but it does smell expensive and it does smell a little bit more glamorous um, than just your typical everyday date night perfume. Something else about this one, of course, this also does make a fantastic gift. The bottle is absolutely stunning. It's adorned in all of these little hand-placed crystals on the front. They're just absolutely beautiful. Um, everything about this bottle to me just screams special occasion and also very, very romantic. So I really, really like this one. There is also little, little gold flecks in the juice. So it's just absolutely stunning. Everything about, everything about this perfume is beautiful. So this is my second pick for a romantic Valentine's Day dinner. So the next one, I do apologize, you guys. I actually don't have the full bottle in my collection yet, but I actually have a bottle of it coming. So I'm just gonna show you the decant and I will put a bottle on the screen along with the notes. So this is 100 Silent Ways from Nishane. So, okay. Everything about this perfume says romance and femininity, which I think is perfect for Valentine's Day. Um, this is a decant that my friend Yana sent, sent me from The Scented, oh my goodness. She sent me from her channel, 
Yana from The Scented sent me this <laughs> decant. You guys, I'm having a lot of trouble today. <laughs> um, and I also had a little tiny sample from Lucky Scent. And this is just an absolutely beautiful fragrance. This is an apricot-y vanilla fragrance. And there's a few other notes in there. I think there might be cashmere. I think there might be a woody note of some sort. I'm not 100% sure. I think there's also tuberose. So it's a floral scent and it's an apricot-y scent. And then there's also vanilla. It is absolutely beautiful. And I wasn't really sure about it when I first wore it, but the more that I wear it, the more I fall in love with it. Again, this would make a perfect gift because it is a little bit pricier. It's a little bit of a higher end perfume, but it's not crazy expensive compared to some of the other ones. In fact, I think it is more affordable than Delina. It has excellent performance. It's not quite a beast in the same way that some other ones like Oud Bouquet would be. It doesn't project as in fill a room, but it does have, I would say, pretty good arm's length projection, and it stays really, really strong on my skin for about seven or eight hours at least. So it has a really good lasting power, um, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful scent. And the more that I wear this, the more I just fall in love with this. And I actually, after about the third time wearing it, I finally caved in and ordered myself a bottle because I just can't stop sniffing my arm. So it's incredible. You guys really, really like it. It's worth all the hype. It's also very pretty, easy to wear, sensual. It's just a beautiful, perfect date night fragrance. And also, of course, the name, 100 Silent Ways. To me, that just sounds incredibly romantic. That sounds like you know, saying, saying I love you to somebody without having to say anything. It's just perfect. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. So that is the next one on my list for Valentine's Day. And the next one, you guys, I'm going to take a little bit of a different direction. This one is a little bit deeper and more sensual and more nighttime boozy. So I love this perfume, you guys. This is Van Cleef & Arpels Bois Doré. I have talked about this in so many videos. I absolutely love it. This is a darker perfume. This has vanilla. This has, I think there's tobacco in here. There's some woody notes. So it is kind of um, a darker smelling fragrance. It suits the bottle perfectly, which is this gorgeous, shiny obsidian bottle. The smell that is in here, the fragrance that's in here perfectly suits the bottle. It's smooth, it's glamorous, it's elegant, it's sophisticated, it's refined, it's unique, it's absolutely gorgeous. Again, this is a perfume that would make an incredible gift, but also would be perfect to wear for a sensual date night. And I think it would be perfect for Valentine's Day. This perfume is not one that I would wear for just any old day of the week. I don't think I would wear this just any evening. To me, this definitely does feel more like a black tie affair, formal event. It is pretty unisex. I think a man or a woman could easily get away with it, but I think it's perfectly balanced. What's unique about this one as well is there is a note in here of mineral notes, which I've told you guys before, I don't know what mineral notes smell like by themselves, but it just, it just adds something to this perfume. It elevates it and it makes it just very different and very a uh, very luminous i guess like it gives it this kind of cold airy mineral-esque quality so it's not just your basic like nighttime vanilla tobacco there's also this subtle kind of a crystalline nature about it i don't really know how to describe it it's just beautiful it's a must smell and um, it also looks great sitting on a vanity. So again, if you're looking for a gift, this makes a beautiful gift idea as well. Only thing I would say is that it is not really a safe blind buy because I think some people might not dig it, especially if they have um, more of a new nose when it comes to perfumes or they prefer more designer fragrance, maybe they're very new in the niche world, then I wouldn't go ahead and just blind buy it because it is different, it's very different, and um, but it is one of my most appreciated fragrances in my entire collection and I think perfect for Valentine's Day. Okay, and the final perfume in today's video is from Juliana's Perfumes, and this is Red Carpet Affair. So you guys, I'm sorry, I have been talking about this perfume left, right, and center. I absolutely love it. It is new to my collection, and it is supposed to be a dupe for Guerlain's Angelique Noir. So I absolutely love this. This is basically a floral vanilla fragrance. It's a sweet, floral, feminine, glamorous, beautiful vanilla fragrance, but it also has this gorgeous, green note and the green note is kind of similar to like a pine smell like pine tree it's a little bit minty it's very hard to explain it's just a gorgeous unique green note and it's called Angelica 
and I absolutely love this, you guys. The performance on this is pretty good. I would say at least five or six hours. It's not crazy, but it's not terrible either. Um, I also do have a decant of the real Angelique Noir, which I've told you guys, and I have to say, I kind of prefer this one over the real one, and the reason for that, like I said, is because this one is a little bit stronger in that Angelica note. It's not quite so deep. Don't get me wrong. I love the Angelique Noir. I like both of them. The Angelique Noir is a little bit more vanilla and a little bit more nighttime, um, a little richer, thicker, denser. I've been told that it doesn't last very long and I actually can't find a difference in longevity between this and Angelique Noir. They're pretty much on par. So yeah, there, I have only good things to say about this. Um, even the bottle itself looks really romantic. Like, look at that, you guys. I just, I can't get over how beautiful this bottle is. I love it. It is one of my most loved bottles right now. I can't stop sniffing it. I've worn it quite a few times. It's that perfect balance of like sensual, sweet, feminine, sexy vanilla, which we all like, but then there's something about it that lifts it up and makes it a little bit more elegant, glamorous, and perfect for a romantic date night. So it's perfect. Um, I think there's quite a long waiting list for this perfume. I believe they're sold out. Everybody I talk to says that they're sold out. Um, but if you are interested in getting this for yourself or somebody else, I will put a discount code down in the description box um, and you can save 20% on your order if you use that code. So definitely check it out. Out. Um, but yeah, I just, you guys look how pretty it is. I can't, <laughs> I can't say enough good things. I can't say enough good things about this gorgeous perfume. So definitely check it out. One of my favorites, Juliana's Perfume Red Carpet Affair. So that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you really enjoyed. If you haven't already, feel free to head on over and follow me on Instagram where I share a lot of little things about my life that I don't usually share here on YouTube. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye for now.